during the Capcom Sunbreak presentation. After all that banger, returning monsters that we got, they even doubled down on adding a long lost monster of the past. Lucent Nargakuga. But if you are a newcomer to the series, don't worry, I'll tell you all about Lucent Nargakuga, so you're just excited as everyone else. Okay, let's begin. So a bit of a background, in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, one of the quests given to you by the guild once you have reached HR 40 is Lucent Nargakuga. Lucent Nargakuga, also known as the Moon Swift Wyvern, is a rare species of Nargakuga. And in my experience with hunting this monster, it's so much more aggressive than the normal Nargakuga when it comes to the tail slams. Let me explain. One of the mechanics on why it loves to spam its tail is because Lucent Nargakuga has an ability ability to spew out a lot of poison spikes or shards in multiple directions. This move can catch you off guard even after dodging the tail attack. Lucky enough, the poison isn't as potent as let's say Apex Rathion on Rise. But can you imagine on Sunbreak if it turns out to be like that? Unlike the normal Nargakuga, Lucent Nargakuga's body parts are tough. You'll need to either have Mind's Eye on your armor set or you'll need to have like purple sharpness on your weapon. However, there's a simple alternative to this using sonic bombs. That's right, when Lucent Narga is in rage, his head and body become soft. However, this option is quite risky, especially if you suck at dodging. With that said, Lucent Narga Kuga's hit zones are terrible. It's best to hit the back legs or the tail, not like how I'm demonstrating in this video. In addition to its speed, Lucent Narga Kuga has an ability to become invisible, just like Camellias. This is because it uses the environment such as the fog and the moonlight reflection to make itself invisible. During the hunt, Lucent Narga would use this as an advantage to reposition itself and jump on you where you least expect it. Overall, cool monster and I'm looking forward to see how they would implement this on Sunbreak. Okay, enough of Lucent Narga's abilities and movesets. What about the armor? Is it good or bad? And what about the weapons that it has? Okay, here's what the armor set looks like. Wait, <laughs> hold on. I wish I could show you the armor set in game, but it is hard to grind that monster, but imagine Narga Kuga's armor, but they blew up the brightness and saturation to 100. And there we go, that's Lucent Narga Kuga's armor. Anyhow, the armor skills isn't that bad. We have Carving Master, Handicraft, Agitator, Wellness, and Bad Luck. Okay, maybe you can skip on the Bad Luck because that skill is just from the old gen, but I doubt they would have that on Sunbreak. Based on the skills that it has, it's mostly an all-purpose armor set. And now, let's talk about the weapons because this is where the real sh** is. Here Here's what two of Lucent Narga's weapons look like. Unfortunately, in the old generation, doesn't have a weapon for the other weapon types, but I think they'll add those on Sunbreak. In terms of the weapon stats, Lucent Narga Kuga's weapons range from 230 to 335 raw. Most of the weapons have a decent length of purple sharpness. It has an average of 20 to 24 poison status, and on top of that, it has 30% to 50% positive affinity. Overall, the weapon of Lucent Narga Kuga is really strong. Now, in terms of Master Rank difficulty, we'll probably unlock the quest once we break the Master Rank limit, just like how they did with 3rd Ultimate, but we'll see how it goes. But man, imagine how this hunt will turn out on Sunbreak, and I really like how the majority of the monsters are getting new moves. And not just that, because we have another returning map which is the Forlorn Arena, and it is well known to be hunting down rare strong monsters in there, and I wish they they could also bring back Molten Tigrex, like please Capcom. Overall, I'm really happy and excited to play Sunbreak and I think you might have missed this one because this monster is underrated which is Daimyo Hermitar. Check out this next video as I share more why this monster is also interesting like the rest.